Here I have two Sonoff S20 smart sockets that I want to add to my EWILink account on my iPhone. EWILink has recently updated the software to the iPhone to make it a little bit easier to add the different products. There are some of the Sonoff products with a little bit older uh, firmware and some with newer firmware. And I'm going to show you how to add the two different uh, firmware types to the eWeeLink account. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply power to the units. And I'll take the first unit that I have here. And I'm going to press and hold in the power button, the on-off button, until it starts blinking in a different pattern. There we can see we have two blinks on and a pause. Then I'm going to go over to my EWI link on my iPhone. And the first thing I'm going to do is compare the blink pattern of the unit to the blink pattern of the first, which is called quick pairing mode. And as you can see, they both have a similar blink. That means we have two blinks and a pause, two blinks and a pause, and then so that tells me that I can easily use the quick pairing mode. And all I have to do at this point is press next. I need to make sure that my Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password are correct. If they're not correct, they need to be changed. It's very important that you're connecting to a 2.4 gigahertz router and not a 5 gigahertz router. 5 gigahertz routers do not work with the Sonoff products. So I'm going to press next again. EWILink will attempt to uh, create a local connection to the smart socket. My device has been found. I can go in and rename it. I'm going to name it test1. Return and then add. It's been added with success. And as you can see, it's already come up on the list. I can control the unit now, no problems. Sometimes it can take a few minutes. It depends on the situation with the cloud server. That's the first device. The second device, I'm going to do it in the same way. I'll take and I'll press in and hold on the power button. There you can see it starts blinking. Now I'm going to press the plus sign on my EWILink app. And now you can compare the two. And you can see I have a fast blink pattern on the product, but a different blink pattern in the app. When you see this situation, then you need to go into what's called compatibility pairing mode. And down at the bottom, right above the next, I'll press compatibility pairing. Get it up here. Reach around here where I have a better position. In compatibility pairing mode, you're required to go into the settings and the Wi-Fi settings. The, an explanation of what you need to do is described in English. So I'm going to go to my settings on the telephone, Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to find the device, which will always start with IT press on the device. In most cases it will ask for a password and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Connect. And now I've manually established a direct connection to the socket. Go to bay to my eWilink. Press next. Make sure that the Wi-Fi name and the code word password are correct and press next. I'll give it the name test2 so that I can see the difference in my list of devices and add the device. Now you can see I've added test1 and test2. Test2 was the device that I had to uh, use compatibility mode pairing. 
So I'm going to go into the device's settings and I can see that the firmware is outdated and needs to be updated. I press the three dots at the top and settings and units version is 1.55 I can upgrade to 1.60. You can do that just by pressing the arrow at the right and it will update the unit to the newest uh, firmware. So that's it. That's the uh, two ways to connect your Sonoff products, Wi-Fi smart sockets and smart switches to your eWeLink account.